it means, but it's provocative. Gets Whoa. the people going. You see that right there? Do you see what it says? If you can read what it says, then you're a badass. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Today, today, I hope you're staying blessed today. That's all I gotta say, that's all I gotta say. No, but for real though, I got an unboxing for you guys and then on feet review, you already know what it is. Jordan 5 alternate ballet. We're gonna get into it, we're gonna talk about it, and we're gonna see if it's up to the height. We're gonna see if it's up to the height. A lot of people went for this shoe, it pretty much sold out. Um, I was able to get them on release day. I got them on the sneakers app. Your boy hit, yeah, I be catching W's on, on sneakers app, it's crazy. I just wanna know like if they're just as good as these guys right here. I think these, as far as like quality, they have really good, nice um, leather. But the way the toe box is made, it's I know it's different. I saw, I saw a couple videos already of how they are. Um, but you're seeing it first on He Got Shoe Game's channel, of course. Of course, you know, you, you gotta get the review. You gotta get my opinion. You gotta get my review see the similarities and the differences between them um and as far as the material goes but um yeah i just want to say thank you for clicking on this video if you like the video of course leave a like um but i i always post content so if you want to go ahead and subscribe put those post notifications on and you know just stay tuned see what else be coming out because I got some heat on the way you already know but let's stop talking and let's get into this review yeah I gotta I gotta go get the shoe real quick let me go get the shoe straight from Nike sneakers app got lucky like always I don't know what it is man but I always somehow find a way on the sneakers app um I say about 60 40 percent 60 sneakers app i hit 40 percent i don't it's crazy i've been hitting on i hit on the sneakers app man the boy blessed or something where my knife at where my knife at let me just open it with the one hand with the one hand you know you got to just do it take straight authentic authentic oh no we're not gonna get into that we're not gonna get into that the authenticity God, it's authentic. I, I can't even say that word. You know, you know what word I'm talking about. Goodness, having difficulty just opening the box. My goodness. My goodness. Man. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I feel like Will Smith right now. Fresh Prince of Bella. Super fresh. Yeah, okay. So I haven't even seen these shoes at all in person. And that's what's um, a good thing about these videos that I make is like for me, you just know how my reaction is towards the shoe because it's my first time seeing the shoe and you get my honest opinion if I like them or not. So with these colorway reads, white ghost green court purple air jordan 5 retro us size nine and a half got your standard original air jordan box with nike air like oh it's just beautiful it's so beautiful oh uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think I gotta take the other shoe out or something. But yo, to be honest, these shoes right here. If you want to take a look at them, they kind of nice looking. At first, you know, I was just kind of like, 
thinking to myself like it looks like a kid's shoe i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you it looks like a kid's shoe but if you know what to wear with certain colors it's something that could be pulled off and i could always pull off a shoe that looks like it's not rockable but one thing that they could have done different or should have done is that in my opinion is um the original bel air jordan fives it's like a uh it's like a gray suede what i think they should have did to these ones is had like a black suede right have like a black suede still keep the same colorway concept um it just i think if they did like an all black suede it would it would have been like for sure a, a f just the, the shoe itself is, is still fire and it's it like in its own form but to me i don't know if i would keep them personally but it's a nice shoe it's a nice shoe you know you got you got your 23 on the side you got your jump man on the booty inside you got your uh, jump man logo i know y'all can see that um got your purple lace locks now i'm gonna tell you a little little story about this shoe it's uh, actually based off of will smith fresh prince of bel-air um, that's why this shoe is so hype because the first pair, the the ones that first came out, um, came out like six years ago, five years ago or so. Um, they're selling for like six hundred dollars right now. So holding on to a pair of these shoes for five to six years, of course the price is gonna go up on them. But that's just crazy. That's probably why I would hold on to them. I probably would hold on to them. Not even gonna sell. Them. Um, just to have, you know, just just some. It's, you know, I'm a collector. I love shoes and. Jordan is something I, I, I just been into. So you got your green jump man, pink jump man. If you can notice, you got pink twenty three with the outline green. Same thing with the the jump man logo. Now on this one is different. It's green twenty three. Not the pink 23 green with the blue outline. Same thing for the back. Jump man. And then your shark teeth. This one right here is pink. This one right here is blue. So they did do the same tongue as these Jordan 5 they did do the same tongue type of thing squishy they should have done them with this reflective material that's that's my honest opinion they should have done them with this reflective material but let me go ahead and put one down real quick if Put them side to side in a way you can see that the toe box is different this is just kind of slanted down and this one just kind of cuts off it goes up and then cuts straight off see i don't know why they would be doing that why can't they just be consistent with the way they, they make these shoes they're always different I ain't complaining though i'm not complaining most definitely not but what do y'all think? What's y'all's opinion on the shoe? Comment down below if y'all would rock, if y'all copped. Um, I don't even know why I'm showing this shoe. Uh, quality wise, quality is better on this one. I can feel how buttery it is. This one just feels a little, a little bit more tough. This one's a little bit more squishy. Yeah, man. These are the Jordan 5 alternate Bel Airs. Um, let's stop talking. 
Let's get into this on feet for you guys. Sure. 